Hey YouTube, well, I'm back in Mexico City and uh, got a little project that I'm working on today and I thought I would share it with you guys. Pretty interesting for people that might be uh, living off the grid or just trying to get prepared for a time when um, they might not have water heaters or they might be squatting somewhere and they need some way to heat water and take showers. This is a, an idea that I came up with and I hope it's going to work pretty good. How I have been uh, heating water before is with this. It's just a, a plug-in thing and then uh, it has, it's rubber with a element, kind of like a toaster element here and you just drop it in a bucket and it heats the water but it's it's very dangerous. If you put your, your hand in the water or you trip or something like that, I mean you'll get electrocuted. And it's also very inefficient. It seems like it uses a ton of electricity. And not only that, a lot of times, you know, you get occupied doing something else and you leave it on for a little too long and then, you know, you just end up wasting a lot of electricity and money. So, I got this from uh, Goodwill in the States and I brought it down here. Basically all it is is just um, one of these, an electric tea kettle. You know, I got this one to actually to make my tea with, but to show you, you know. It's the same thing. I just cut it apart to, so it would be less weight to take it down, down here. So um, I'm going to basically just drill a hole. I have like my uh, Yankee drill and a hole, and, uh, hole saw bits. I'm going to drill a hole and then modify this. I mean, I kept the switch and everything, all the electronic stuff. So I'm hoping that as soon as it starts boiling that it should just automatically shut off. I guess it has some type of um, sensor, which, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a lot more efficient, too, and definitely a lot safer, especially if you have children, you know, and I think it's a really good way to um, to heat your water, you know, if even if you're just, like, living in an RV someplace or, you know, maybe you could probably mod modify it in a van to work like that. You could take showers. I mean, there's a lot of uses for it, or even for cooking, <laughs> if you just wanted to heat a bunch of water. You know, you could use it like this. So I'm going to try it right now, drill the hole and um, put it in and we'll see how it works. So I took um, everything apart and then I'm going to drill a hole like the same size as what was actually in the body of the kettle here. So here would be good. You want to keep it down near the bottom obviously because it's heat rises but I mean you don't want it to be red on the bottom either so I'm going to try about here Easy. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to attach this part back back on this is like the electrical attachment and the sensor alright so um, just giving it a little test run before I put everything together and it seems to be working really good except except I don't know if you can see here it's leaking a little bit I think it's just because this is curved and where it was before it was flat so before I put it all um, together, I'm just going to um, take it apart again and put some silicon in there, like automotive silicon. And I'm pretty sure that will do the trick. And other than that, and um, as you can see, it's on. It's like perfectly safe. You can put your hand in there. It's not electrical. So really I'm um, pleased with the way this was working out. All right, so this is uh, pretty much the finished product now. You can see I kept everything intact, the switch. I put a little tape on there so no water will get in. Um, Put silicone on there and um, I let it dry for a few hours and 
doesn't seem to be leaking, but I'm just going to test it out first, and then when I'm done, I'm going to uh, um, put these twist ties on here like that and around the bucket to hold this thing in place. You know, it's fairly sturdy right now, but to really hold it on there and on the top too. Made a little groove that it fits in so I can tie that on. Anyways, I'm going to um, test it out right now and see, this is the old one, you know, and then this is the new one and see which one is using more electricity. I'm really curious. I want to see also like which one takes more time. Plug this one in. Turn it on. Alright, so I got it going now. I don't know if you can see the heat rising off of that. So I'm going to go outside and uh, see how much electricity is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so now I got the old heater plugged in. See how, how um, much electricity that one's using. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so I got them both plugged in now. This one's actually got a little bit of a head start. Not much. I'm going to put, put lids on them. See which one heats up faster. I don't know um, too much about electricity or physics. But maybe someone can tell me. I would think that since this one is uh, radiating a lot of electricity in the water, I would think that a lot of the energy would be lost to electricity. Whereas this one, I don't think would be wasting as much electricity and the majority of the energy would be going directly to heat. So it should work faster. But we'll see. And we'll also see like whether this switch works or not, whether this turns off when it, starts bo when it boils. So we'll be back in a little while. Alright, so I'm going to start my stopwatch now so we can tell exactly how long this takes. Alright YouTube, so it's been 52 minutes. Normally it doesn't take this long, but um, I think since I have both of them plugged in, it's not, not uh, using it, you know, it's not getting as much electricity as either one needs. And then also I fill it all the way to the top. If you ever do this, it's probably better to fill it up to about this level. It's all you really need it, and then that heat that up till it's really hot, and then add a little cold water to bring it to the top. It seems to heat up a lot more efficiently. But anyways, I think it was good for testing purposes because it allowed it to go for longer, so I can really tell which one's better. And I can hear that this one's boiling pretty much already. But uh, you know, I've left it for long enough now. You can see that. I don't know if you can see like there's steam coming off of that one. It's pretty much boiling hot. And this one, it's hot too. But nowhere near as hot as that one. Let me unplug it here. Yeah, it's not... Oof, that one is super hot. It's almost boiling. So that's a clear winner. Just gonna, um, like I said, tie those twist ties around it and... You know, really, if, if you're looking for something like this where you need to heat water in an unconventional way in an unconventional location, I think this is a really good idea, and it's my original idea, but, you know, anybody can copy it. I think they should sell something like this, to tell you the truth. So, uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. And I'd like to see what you think about it, and uh, if you have any ideas, you know, on how I can improve it, too. You know, some uh, or a different design or a different way of heating water. Thanks a lot.